What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Battle Spot Live. This is, I think, episode number seven, I want to say, maybe eight, something along those lines. But anyway, we are back with this same team again today, the Mothman team that put in so much work last time. Um, we're definitely due for a couple of losses because our record is about 14 and 5. Uh, I think we've only lost one game in the last, like, four episodes or something crazy like that so we're due for like two losses today at least uh, i'm hoping that's not the case but we're definitely due because we've been on a tear absolute tear of a winning streak so i'm gonna hit the challenge button and uh, we'll go with music number five because why not uh, for those of you that don't know what we're running on the team uh the motham is a life orb tinted lens set with quiver dance um and then we have the Pincer, which is Swords Dance, Mega, obviously, Choice Scarf, Embor, Eject Button, Clef Key with Screens to ease setup. We got Persian. That was uh, a suggestion from you guys. It's a fake out set because that's what uh, the person that suggested it um, wanted to see. So that, I don't think, got into a battle last time. So maybe we have to change that. And then we have Metal Burst, Rhyperior. I want to correct something I said last time, and that is the fact that Metal Burst is uh, a negative priority move. The source that I used um, for that move is incorrect. It is not negative priority. Um, but Rhyperior is a brave nature to be able to outslow Aegislash. And uh, we can survive because we have an Assault Vest so we can take Flash Cannons. So it really won't matter in most cases. But uh, I figured I would clarify that because I do not want to be spreading misinformation if I can avoid it or correct myself so I apologize for being uh, wrong in that case uh, we see a Mega Altaria though that's really cool that is really really cool uh, I almost never see Mega Altaria in OU or on Battle Spot it just kind of like fell off the face of the earth recently um, all right all right all right so I'm thinking he's not gonna want to bring the scissor because I have an Embor I would imagine I would imagine that would be the case. Um, I don't see Motham sweeping. Porygon 2 has been everywhere recently. Like, it has been all over the place. Now, what are you going to lead with is the question. I feel like we could see Mamoswine or we could see the uh, Rotom Wash leading. So, I kind of want to lead with Persian because Fake Out plus Return might kill a Mamoswine to be honest, and it'll break the Sash. Um, if he goes into, like, Gengar, uh, do I have knockoff on this thing? Do I? I have U-turn, I have Taunt. I do not, so I have nothing to hit Gengar with, but we can U-turn out um, because I do outspeed it. So we're going to actually lead off with the Persian here um, for the reason that I mentioned. Knockoff would have been really helpful for Porygon 2. Uh, it's not really much I can do about that. I guess I do have to bring the Embor. I guess I do. And then, what do I have that can take on the uh, Altaria? Altaria, Altaria. I don't know. Um, Dragon Fairy. Clef Key doesn't really help me in that case. Uh, I guess we could go Mega Pinsir here. Um, I guess we have to. I don't really have anything for that Altaria. Um, if it were to be special, that would help my um, Rhyperior to be able to take it on, because we can definitely take a Hyper Voice. But can't hit it super effectively with anything um, other than Ice Punch. And that doesn't really do a whole lot. As we do see the Rotom leading off here. So I am going to fake out. If he goes into Gengar, like I said, I outspeed that. Um, and then I can, I can do things. I could be, I could be kind of ballsy and, re and uh, taunt it to prevent a Willow and then try to switch Pinsir in. But then I, there's still the potential of taking a uh, Sludge Bomb. Don't really want anyone on my team taking a Sludge Bomb, to be honest. Uh, so that's really not good if he does have that. So I, I'm going to just fake out here regardless. Um, and we'll see what he does. He's going to leave the Rotom in. And that does a lot of damage. Wow. Okay. I did not expect it to do that much. Um, what are the chances that he Hydro Pumps here? I feel like that's offensive. Maybe it's specially defensive. That did a lot of damage. Like, there's Technician, though. I kind of want to taunt. I kind of want to taunt. Not going to lie. Um, I don't think he's going to go for Hydro Pump. I really want to switch in Embor here. 
But if I switch in Embor and take all that damage, um, there's no reason to heart switch, though. If I'm going to do that, I just I just U-turn. Um, and then he should be in range of return, for sure. I'm going to U-turn. Let's see if he stays in again. He's faster than me, and he misses the Willow, which is really, really unfortunate. That sucks, my friend. I am sorry about that. Sorry about that. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I like... That sucks. That really, really sucks. Uh, we have to go out into Embor, and we would have to click... I really want to click Stone Edge, predicting that Altaria to want to come in. There's no way if he has P2 that he would switch it out on Embor. Right? Right? Because he's got to switch. He's obviously Choice Scar. That's why it did so much, too. I, I had a feeling like that had to be offensive. But he's Choice Scarf... Choice Scarf will was. Not bad. Not bad at all. He's not going to stay in here, obviously. I want to click Stone Edge so bad to catch... To catch Altaria trying to switch in. Or Gengar. We could just click Flare Blitz. I don't know that two Flare Blitzes um, will take out... We'll take out the Altaria, though. But we get a hit off on regular Altaria. So there's that. Maybe I should go for Flare Blitz. Because he could also switch in Scizor to take a superpower. He wouldn't switch in Scizor. I feel like J Flare Blitz is the best play here. Flare Blitz is the best play. So that's what I'm clicking. We'll see what he goes into. It is Scizor. That's gone. Gone. He predicted me to want to go for the superpower. Um, and thinking he could take one and maybe get some damage off or go back into Rotom. So that is done. It's defensive Scizor. That's why. Not even bad. I like this person. I like this person a lot. Choice Scarf, will o Rotom, and Rocky Helmet Scizor. That is beyond cool. That is beyond cool. Okay, now at this point, he goes for the Hydro Pump. Is Persian necessary? If that last Pokemon is P2, I absolutely need Embor. Um, like, absolutely need Embor. <sighs> Choice Scarf Hydro Pump probably doesn't kill Pinsir. Hmm. That is tricky. At least we know that his Gengar is definitely not Choice Scarf now. Um... He also outspeeds me. That's the thing. That is the thing. I'm so tempted to just send in Persian here. But I can't do that. I have to send in Pinsir. Pinsir is the only one that's going to survive. I don't think Persian is going to take a Hydro Pump, even though it's Scarf. So, um, yeah. Pinsir is not really going to be doing too much here, I don't think. He goes for the Hydro Pump. He does connect on that, which I'm happy that he does. Because, um, yeah, that did a lot. That did a lot. So the question becomes, um, if I stay regular pincer and faint because I don't get the aerial arrow late, um, does that do more than Mega Evolving even though it's a resisted hit? That's the question that I have. Um, but cause you boost the power plus stab, but then it's not very effective. I think it's probably better to just get our Mega off anyway, because there's a chance that he switches here. And does not want to risk um, missing Hydro Pump. And he may just want to save this. I don't know. So I'm thinking I'm going to Mega Evolve. And I'm just going to faint for damage. Um, because then at that point I'm hoping that he's going to be within Fake Out range. Because he's offensive. He should take a solid chunk from this. Let's see. Let's see. He's leaving it in. So he's going for the Hydro Pump. And oh that did nothing. That did nothing. That is not good. As he gets a crit, that's meaningless. I really thought that was going to do more damage than that. Maybe that was a bad play, because I could take a Hydro Pump, Mega Evolve, and then return him. Plus Faint. That would probably kill. That really did nothing, though. That did no damage whatsoever. Um, so, it's going to come down to either 
we are going to... We're not going to kill him with this fake hat, I don't think. Unless we get like a high roll or a crit or something. He knows I have to fake out. He knows I have to fake out. I'm tempted to just return here, because fake out's not going to kill. So, I have to take an attack either way. Um, there's a chance that he switches. And in that case, I'd probably want to hit a return. That did so much damage to Pinsir, though. Like, it really, really did. Um, 85 special defense compared to 90. Okay, we might be able to live that just barely, depending on the roll. I'm going for a return here. Fake out's not going to kill. And he's going to withdraw. Okay, so we're going to get some damage. We're going to get some damage off on whatever he goes into. Please don't be Gengar. Okay, it's Mamoswine. It's Mamoswine. That's fine, because I outspeed that. Will two returns be enough to kill? No. Crap. Crap. Now he just goes for Earthquake. So, if I sack Embor here to an Earthquake, bring Persian out, I would have to predict whether or not he's going to stay in. Because um, I'm going to have to take Ice Shard plus Hydro Pump there in that case. I don't know that we can win this. I don't know that we can win this. Unless we get a high roll or he misses a Hydro Pump. That's like the only possible way that I can think of. Um, I'm going to sack Embor here. Gonna sack Embor and then go back in and fake out because I have to. Um, I should have U-turned. What am I doing? That was a bad play. I should have just U-turned. I outspeed this thing. There's no... Okay, but he's Life Orb. Okay, so that actually saves me. But I... Not really, though. Because I still don't think that he's... Yeah, I'm still going to have to take an Ice Shard. I'm still going to have to take an Ice Shard. Unless for some strange reason... I needed to U-turn there. Because U-turn damage plus the Life Orb... Would have brought him inside range of Fake Out. Then I just click Fake Out with no worries. Then I don't have to take Ice Shard plus the Hydro Pump. Because there's a chance I could survive that Hydro Pump, I think. I think. I mean, I could calc it. Um, I have to fake out here. So he's going to leave the Mamoswine in because that is the correct play and he's going to survive. Yeah, I misplayed. Man, that was my own fault. It was the right play to sack the Embor. He doesn't have Ice Shard. Okay, okay, we're still in this. We're still in this. I'm still mad at myself, though. That was not a good play. Like, I, I made the right decision in... Um, sacking the Embor, but I had the Embor to do that. Um, so the question is, can we survive a Hydro Pump? And uh, that's ultimately what the battle comes down to. So we'll, we will see right here. We will see. He connects on it. Come on, Persian. Come on, Persian. Pull through. Pull through, buddy. Yes! Yes! Persian, you beast! You absolute beast. I'm so happy that somebody suggested you. Oh, that was an intense, intense first battle. Wow. And no Mothum involved. My goodness. All right. So we start off with a victory, and that makes me really happy because right before I recorded this, I recorded the uh, league match against Roman and uh, my week one Pokemon Battle League match. And you guys have seen that already. That went up yesterday. Um, yeah. I was pretty salty about uh, some of the things that went on in that battle. So... Uh, I'm very happy that we started off this uh, episode with a win. Uh, it brings our record to 15 and 5 on the series. We'll go with music number 6 this time. Looks like they reset the ladder too, as uh, I only have one win. Only one game. Only one game. I feel like that was kind of a long battle. I don't know. I didn't check to see what time I started recording. What else is new? I say that like every video. Uh, Tyrandrum. Very cool. Very cool. My nose is so itchy today. 
I'm having some like allergy problems. Allergy problems. Okay. I'm assuming that's gonna be Mega Slowbro, which I cannot beat outside of Mothum, which is very interesting. Very, very interesting. I have nothing to beat that. Um, well, I could Metal Burst, but I don't even know that Skull plus Metal Burst would kill it, to be honest. I think it's such a problem. It is such a problem. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to lead off with Pinsir. Pinsir puts in quite a bit of work. Um, although Clef Key, though. Clef Key, though... See, I can T-Wave everything but the, um, but the Magna Zone. Okay, I'm gonna lead off with Rhyperior. We're gonna bring the Clef Key, and we're gonna bring Mothum. Um, yeah, that's what I want to go with. It seems to be, like, a popular choice for me, is, uh, Rhyperior, Clef Key, Mothum. Uh, Clef Key can be a decent lead to paralyze something, get up screens, and then get out. But, um, Rhyperior is also a pretty solid lead. It beats the Talonflame one-on-one, -on -one, obviously. Uh, it should beat that Magnezone one-on-one, too. Um, it might only have a chance to kill me if it's Specs, to be honest. Because Specs Magnezone is pretty darn powerful. Pretty darn powerful. So we got our win. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine if we lose now. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, he's going to lead off with the Tyrantrum. That is not a good matchup for him. So he's probably going to want to switch um, his only immunity to ground is maybe like Air Balloon Magnezone uh, or Talonflame. But he's not going to switch Talonflame in on this. I'm tempted to click Ice Punch. But no, that's stupid because his his switching is going to be slow, bro, probably. I don't think he's going to risk switching in uh, Talonflame. It doesn't make sense because he doesn't gain anything from that. Even though he can, you know, levitate over my uh, my Earthquake, I can just Rock Blast in the following turn. That's really not going to help him. Um, earthquake does not kill this, though, I don't think. I'm going to click it anyway. He's going to withdraw. I'm assuming uh, Slowbro is going to want to come out here. Yep. There is the Slowbro, and we have a solid chance to remove this here. Because, um... That doesn't do too much damage. But I'm expecting him to want to scald me here. And, um... I don't have anything that wants to take that. I don't want to switch in Clef Key, obviously, because of the Eject button. Uh, that Tyrantrum is going to end up being a problem. I'm going to have to one-shot it, I think. I don't know how well that's going to work out for me. Because I'm going to have to take so much damage from this. And potentially get burned. Um... And then he can set up. That's really bad, actually. That is really bad if he's Dragon Dance. Um, I... Hmm. He could also have Thunder Wave. Which I might not like. Um... I'm tempted to actually go into Clef Key, use the Eject button to go out into Mothum and then set up on this thing. But I don't want him to, like, Calm Mind. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go out into Clef Key. I don't know if he's going to Scald this turn. If he does, that's fine. I will go um, directly out into Mothum. Yeah, there's the Slobber Knight. Uh, I can't mess around with this. I really need him to not be setting up Calm Minds. Please do not set up a Calm Mind. Just Scald. Just Scald. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even care if you get the burn. Kind of did a lot of damage. And uh, he does not get the burn. So we're going to get a safe passage into into Mothim here, which is what I wanted. So now we get to set up, and um, I don't know what he would have to hit me with. I just need to hope. He's got to have Slack Off. He's got to have Scald. He probably has Ice Beam, because this is Battle Spot, and there are dragons everywhere. Like, how are you going to beat Ments? Probably the whole reason you have it on your team is to beat Ments, and, um, and probably Talonflame, too. So, uh, what is that other move, though? Is it a Psychotype move, or is it Thunder Wave? If it's Thunder Wave, we are really screwed. Uh, Bug Buzz does not kill uh, without a boost, so I have. He's gonna. He's gonna Thunder Wave me. He's gonna Thunder Wave me. I can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. 
Flamethrower! Okay, you don't have the, uh... Wow, that did so much damage. That was beyond stupid how much damage that did. Um, so Flamethrower, I guess, is for, like, Sizzle or Ferrothorn. Probably mostly Ferrothorn. Um, now I have to kill you. I have to kill you. And he's gonna stay in and let me get rid of this thing, which is huge, because, uh, Rhyperior obviously does not beat it. Um, and now I'm at plus one. Does he have anything that outspeeds me at plus one? I don't know. I do not know. If he has, uh, Talon Flame, he's gonna go into that here. I don't know that Mach Punch kills me, because it's four times resisted. Although it probably does. Probably does. He's gonna go into the Talon Flame here. And, uh, do I let him kill me here? What does that gain? What does that gain me? Um, I could go into Clef Key. I don't know if I take two Brave Birds, um, but I should be able to, like, Thunder Wave you. Because I need Rhyperior for sure. Like, I have to have Rhyperior to win. Mothum doesn't do anything for me. No, there's no reason. There's no reason whatsoever. Um, yeah, there's no reason. I'm just going to click Air Slash. It doesn't matter. Uh, he's going to Brave Bird. I figured that's what he would do. And uh, so Mothum's going to go down. Not really much I can do about that. It got rid of a Mega Slowbro, though. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, it just destroyed it. Do we see Life Orb? We do not. So it could be Banded, it could be Sharp Beak. Um, at this point, at this point, I'm really tempted to go into Rhyperior and just click Earthquake. I'm so tempted to do that. But we can also go into Clef Key and uh, throw up a Reflect here. And then T-Wave and, and things like that. I have, um, I do have the Foul Play as well. Hmm. I'm going to go into Clef Key. I'm going to go into the Clef Key here. And I'm thinking that Reflect is probably my best option. I don't need damage off of this. I can kill it in one hit with Rock Blast as long as I hit. Um, but preventing my um, Rhyperior from taking a lot of damage from uh, Tyrantrum could be very helpful. Although, Thunder Wave could also be helpful. Because um, he's probably just going to kill me this turn. He's probably just going to kill me. With uh, Flare Blitz. Reflect it is. Reflect it is. Um, so he's going to stay into Flare Blitz here, I guess. That's what I'm assuming. He's going to taunt me, actually. Okay. So he may have Will-O-Wisp? Interesting that he didn't just, um, Flare Blitz me there. I will foul play you. Oh, he does have the will o -Wisp. That is so bad. Oh my gosh, that is so bad. He is Brave Bird. I don't know what his item is. That's so bad. He's gotta have Roost. Crap. I think that may be what's gonna win in the game. Um... I can't afford to let Rhyperior get burned, but he's going to have Roost. Um, I don't know why he's Will-O-Wisping. Just kill, just kill this thing, okay. Or not. Or not. I guess he needs the residual damage because he's mono-attacking Brave Bird. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, now this is going to be doing less damage, and he can Roost off said damage as we get a crit, which is meaningless, and... Um, we are going to be able to get a T-Wave off, I think, though. See if he Brave Birds here or Roost. He's going to Roost. So he does not have Flare Blitz. I mean, that doesn't really help because he's not going for that on Rhyperior anyway. I have to continue to Foul Play. I mean, I could have tried to go into something there. But now I can just T-Wave, which means... The fact that uh, I can T-Wave here, it would be a good play for him to go into his Tyrantrum here, actually. Especially if it's like Lumberry. Um, but I'm going to T-Wave you all the way here. All the way. All of the ways. All 
all of the ways. So, we're gonna get this paralyzed, which means... Are you Lumberry? Are you serious? Lumberry taunt. Just, I think it's just for T-Waves. I think it just might be for T-Waves. Um... I'm going to make the switch into Rhyperior here. I'm going to hope and pray he does not predict this and go for Will-O-Wisp. I think his play is Brave Bird, to be honest. Uh, so he does go for the Brave Bird. And uh, now... I have to hope he goes for Will-O-Wisp. I mean, his priority is going to out-prioritize my Clef Keys anyway because he's faster. So he could just Brave Bird... Like, plus the burn damage. That should kill Klefki, I would imagine. So he doesn't really lose much by um, by just clicking Will-O-Wisp here. That's really, really unfortunate. Um, that is really unfortunate. Yeah, he doesn't lose anything at all. Um, I'm going to Rock Blast here anyway. I think, I think we just lost this game, unless he missed that Willow, but he did not. Um, so that is going to be the game, pretty much. I don't even know if this will kill. Can we get three hits? Can we get three hits, please? Thank you. Okay, Talonflame is gone. Uh, no more Brave Bird shenanigans. We have, like, one turn with Klefki, uh, as far as Burn is concerned. <sighs> This was a tough battle. This was a tough battle for sure, I, and it ended up being very close. Love this shiny Tyrantrum. Have to say that blue coloring is amazing. Now what I'm going to do here is make the only play that I can and hope that he Dragon Dances. Um, or Rock Polishes, which would be even better. He has no reason to Rock Polish though. So if he's Rock Polish, he probably just won't go for it. Um, I'm going to go into Klefki here. If he does anything that's not attacking, I will T-Wave him because he can't be Lumberry. It's really my only play at this point. Uh, it's the only thing I can do as he's just going to go for the Earthquake. So uh, that's the good play. If he is banded, we are in trouble. Um, we still have a chance here. We still have a chance thanks to Metal Burst. I hope that it doesn't... I hope that it doesn't reduce the amount of damage because I'm burned. Maybe it's not over. Maybe it's not over. I hope you're banded. Because I don't think banded kills me. I really don't. And I hope you also, you also are not sashed. That would be terrible. We're clicking Metal Burst here. As he's going to click Earthquake. It's not stab. That should not kill. It should. Oh, he's going to kill me plus burn though. It's going to kill me plus burn, I think. It's going to be doing just not enough. Yeah, now it kills me. Oh, uh, that was a tough loss. I'm not gonna lie. That was a tough loss as he's going to uh, finish us off with the Earthquake there. So many times during that battle, I thought like, okay, we have a chance. Okay, now it's over. Okay, no, wait, we have a chance. Oh, wait, no, it's over. Who knows what's going on? It was really, really back and forth. Um, that Talonflame set, though, that was like the worst possible set for him to have. If he had any other set, we definitely won that game. Uh, but that's the power of Stallbreaking Talonflame. I really do love Stallbreaking Talonflame. I love that set. Uh, the Lumberry, I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, although, even Paralyzed, because I'm Brave Nature right here, there might be a chance that uh, Talonflame outspeeds. In fact, that could, that could very well be the case. Um... But I think we're actually going to stop it here because those battles were long. I feel like I've been recording a long time. I know that was only two battles. We'll probably do three next time to finish off the session. Rack up another kill for Motham. Uh, by the way, he's up to like six in two episodes now. And uh, we only had two battles this time, so that is pretty darn good. That brings our record to 15 and 6 on the series. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I feel like it was dragging a little bit more. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. I feel like I was drawing it out. Maybe it's just because I was like I recorded my league match, so I was like in the you know in the zone trying to like think about every play more. So it took me longer in between moves. I don't know. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you're leaving a like or a comment, uh, like you guys are always so great about doing. And I will see you all next week for hopefully some more Motham kills. And uh, but until then, game on.